So over here we'll be doing death drops today. So welcome to your death drop lesson. All the boys are happy because you've been asking about it all week. Um, over there you're going to be doing butterflies. So what we're going to do is just point out a couple of important facts about your death drop. Only 312 people have died from me teaching this. But only because they did not heed this advice, this following advice right now of hit your toe picks. Make sure you hit your toe picks, okay? So let's just spread out just a tiny bit and just do this. Okay? Not inside. You're going to go outside edge, hit your toe pick. So bend your knee, outside edge, hit your toe pick. Bend your knee, outside edge, hit your toe pick. I really want you to hear that like whoosh, sound your toe pick makes. That accelerating and then stopping sound. Not inside. You're going to go outside. Outside edge, hit your toe pick. Outside edge, hit your toe pick. Make sure you hear that. If you don't do that, this is when the death occurs. So don't say I didn't warn you. Did you sign a waiver when you signed up for the seminar? I hope you did, because I don't want to be sued. Okay? So, whoop, see, that's not good. Bend your knee, bend your knee, bend your knee, bend your knee. Very good. Next step, spread out a lot more, because there's going to be some scissoring and some kicking involved. Okay, so scatter, very good. So you're going to hit your toe pick, and after you hit your toe pick, your free leg is going to go from back here, and unlike a flying camel which comes around, it's going to go from back straight to front. Okay, so what you want to do is hit your toe pick as your leg passes by. So as your legs are side by side, you're going to hit your toe pick, and this free leg is going to go in front of you and under your arms, which should be in a V. So body up, but slightly forward, not down here like a flying camel. Okay, body up slightly forward, hit the toe, get your leg up. So we're going to just take a little edge, push fairly straight, don't curve it too much for now. You're just going to go down, toe, up. Okay, show me that. Just down, toe, up. Your body will go towards your free foot and your hands will come up. Good. Good. Now try not to go forward too much. Try to stay on the toe pick as much as you can. Up. So don't push off your toe. Exactly. Good. The next part, the next part is the second kick, the scissor part. We're going to take our body. After we kick, we're going to flip it down here. Left arm in front. Kick that heel back. So your second kick will be body forward. Left arm in front, kick the heel back. So the back of your knee will go towards the ceiling. We will not go around like the flying camel. We're going to go straight up and straight back. So do your edge, hit your toe, up, back. Okay, let's slowly practice that. Please hit your toes. Down. Good. Good. Whoa. Not around, okay? Easy. Okay, Chris, while we're out here, can you show us your death drop, please? So watch where he hits his toe pick. Just the death drop. So because the spin is turning in the air, it has a general appearance that his legs are going around, but the motion that he's doing with his legs is straight up and down. It's because he's turning, they look like they're doing this. Now, can you show us the flying camel? Look at the difference between the flying camel. His body does not move. It's forward the whole time. And his legs actually do this. His hips open up and the other leg comes back. One more death. And up. Very good. Do we see the difference? Excellent. Thank you. So the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to go on the wall. Just come with me for a second. Stay here. And it's just to practice the second kick. Because a lot of us are used to waltz jumps and axles, so we'll go up and then not be able to kick our second leg back. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go this way so I don't kick you. You're going to hold on to the wall. You're going to simulate that forward edge. Outside, hit the toe, stay back like this. So your knee is bent, you're hit on the toe pick. Now you're going to take that bottom leg and you're going to flip your heel and you're going to kick back. So you hit your toe pick forward, pause, get that heel to click, back. Notice how I don't move anywhere 
and notice the body switching from up here to down here. And we get to hold on to the wall and practice this. So if you're not totally comfortable doing it out there, you get to do it here. Make sure you're spread out so you're not kicking your neighbor. Spread out all the way along the wall, please. And just hold on to the wall, kick, flip the heel back down. Up and down. Not around. The first kick was perfect. Second kick has to go back of the knee, straight to the ceiling. Yeah. Nice. Just watch. You don't kick your neighbor. That back kick gets a little dangerous. Good. And up. Very good. That's right, actually. That's right. You're just like waiting. more technical than I remember. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. So but what you're doing is you're just kind of going with it. You want to separate that up from the kick. And click. Yeah, you're putting your foot down, then kicking. That'll take too long. We have to scissor and be fairly quick, so watch for a second. You're going to go, you're doing this. That takes time. You're not going to have that luxury in the air. So you want to go up, click. Hey, don't jump until you've clicked that heel out. out. Click. Ah, oh, not bad. Try not to jump far away. Let the body go up and then down. And down. Very good. Okay. 